input method for French or Spanish with our North American computers, the yogas, we're going to have to do a one-time step that kind of digs deep, unfortunately. First, you can either use your finger to swipe in from the right, or if you don't want to use the, your finger, you can use your keyboard, your mouse to go up to the corner and pull down, and there you go. This is what's called the charm spore. It accesses the goodies of Windows 8. Now, this is obviously a settings um, change, so I go to settings, but it's not a very common. Uh, here you have your common settings to change, like the your speaker, you can even log off here, but we're going to have to dig deeper for this, quite a bit deeper. We go to change PC settings, and that brings up our Windows 8 PC settings, but we're still not there yet. We have to come all the way down here to time and language, and then down here to region and language. So we just keep following the language path. And here we get to the languages. Now this is my um, home computer. I've installed English and French on it, but I want to install Spanish because I have to do a lot of typing of documents into D2L. So I just click add a language. Oh, there I go. I've got a lot to choose from, including Cherokee. However, I need to scroll to Spanish. And where is Spanish? Espanol. There we go. It's under S for Espanol, of course. Then I have uh, the different flavors of Spanish. So if you're partial to one um, kind of Spanish, you can choose that. Uh, in reality, it doesn't make a huge amount of difference except for certain slight grammar corrections and usage corrections. I'm going to pick, the flavor I'm going to pick is Espanol Colombia. And there it is. There it is, right there. And it looks like you're ready to go. However, this assumes that you have a computer in Colombia with the Colombia keyboard layout. And the keys aren't exactly in the same places. If you start typing, you'll be um, unpleasantly surprised that when you push certain keys, different letters come out. So we have to face the fact that we are dealing with a North American keyboard. We still want to type in Spanish, though. So another to do this, when we're on this screen, if you're not on the screen, get back to it. If you remember, it was from the settings and follow the language path. When we get here, then we choose a language. So I'm going to click this language either. We choose a language and then we choose options. And then here we can add a keyboard. Now, there's a lot of keyboards to choose from. I'm going to go all the way down to um, U.S. International, not the U.S. QWERTY keyboard, but the U.S. International keyboard, because that's the keyboard that will unlock the accents. And I can also remove this keyboard since I don't actually have a Latin American keyboard on my computer. Okay, so now when we go back, Spanish will be associated with the U.S. International keyboard.